Hello everyone. Welcome back to my kitchen in my home among the gum trees in Australia. Um, another spontaneous spur of the moment video for you. I'm about to make super quick, super easy, super cheap ravioli. It's not going to be anything like the lasagna pasta debacle because I am using good old port ravioli. Why? Well, we actually had um, pasta bake on the meal plan tonight. So I'm going to make a ravioli pasta bake. It was requested by my son. So you know what? Here goes. Nothing. I've already put a pot of water on to boil. In the interest of doing this in real time, I figured you don't really need to wait around for the 20 minutes or so while that boils. But we can do everything else. So I'm about to get out my kitchen shears, take the lid off the pot. The water is really boiling. I'm pretty sure this only takes about five minutes. Um, five minutes. So we like it just a little bit softer than al dente. A little bit longer, in it goes. Give it a stir around. It will um, start to float when it's ready. Okay, so let's get the sauce made again. Super easy, super quick, super cheap. It is my standard go-to sauce. So we've got, um, I know I'm headless, sorry, it's just the way the camera angle is, tomato soup, um, tin of tomatoes into my pan. Yep, it's lit. So I've got a tin of tomato soup. I use tomato soup. I started using tomato soup for pasta, tomato based pasta sauces when my kids were little because they found the tomato paste base just too rich. They didn't like it, it didn't agree with them. And so, not wanting to give up tomato based pasta sauces, I switched to tomato soup, which worked much better for them. And a tin of tomatoes. Now they're older, I add tomatoes. Give that a stir. Now, this is just beef ravioli. Bring it back to the boil. So I'm going to add some flavours. I have garlic granules here. And I have oregano, and I have sweet basil, no, sweet basil. This gives everything a nice flavour. And a jar of white onion flakes. So a good pinch of those. That's all the seasonings I will give it, other than some salt. Salt, which I will do a small bit. And a few grinds of pepper. Okay, let me stir that all up. And it needs to simmer until the ravioli is done so that the onion will rehydrate because it's dried. I could have, really, I could have diced an onion because I have plenty of them or I could have taken some out of the freezer because I have some in the freezer. But I wanted this to be quick and easy. I'll put it on so it doesn't spat up all over my... So turn this down a bit so it doesn't 
start all over. Right. Okay. While I'm waiting for that, that's my dip. Let's get some cheese grated. I'm just going to grate whatever's on this wad of cheese. Let's see, where's my knife? There we go. Now, I used to make ravioli. When the kids were little, we used to make it. It was fun for them. They liked to do it. It's time-consuming and it's fiddly to me. If you do it all the time, you may not think so. But it's just as easy for me to buy it. And those big packets, they were the 600-gram packets of ravioli, were on half-price sale at Woolworths a couple of weeks ago which made them cheaper than the Coles brand, the big Coles ones. So I stocked up because that's the beef one in the pot, but we love the pumpkin one with the creamy pumpkin sauce. We love the spinach and ricotta with just a tomato sauce or a white sauce. So I don't know how much cheese I've got here. It's just to go on the top. And I've got some focaccia here that I'm going to turn into garlic bread to have with it. And that will be our dinner tonight. And it will be super quick and super easy. And you'll see it done pretty much in real time. As I said, because people seem to think that it takes a lot of time to cook. Cook a meal at home. It doesn't. It's faster often than, I think that's plenty of cheese faster often than getting a, a home delivery or going out for takeaway definitely cheaper definitely cheaper now with this bread let me just pick up this cheese don't want to waste it um, this is um Hillview tasty cheese eleven dollars a kilo at Woolworth If you are part of the Woolworths Everyday Rewards Extra program, you get your 10% off once a month. Stock up on it then. We give this a stir. It smells nice. It smells super good. And the onion is coming up nicely. Let's turn that down. Okay. Bread knife. it into slices like and there we go. get some butter actually I'm going to use margarine for this because I have it to use uh, margarine these garlic granules how much bread have I got I'm eyeballing this guys there is no written recipe please don't ask me for a written recipe I'm eyeballing it as to how much I need so there is no written recipe there isn't a written recipe for my pasta sauce either I eyeball the herbs I eyeball the amount of garlic and basil and oregano that I put in I'm going to mash this together to soften the marge but also to distribute the garlic granules through. Just make it easier to spread. Okay. Starting at this end. Butter. It 
it's easy to change the meal plan up when you have an ingredients-based pantry. I had everything needed to make pasta bake. So instead of boiling the noodles, I'm boiling the ravioli. I already had everything needed to make the sauce. So it's easy enough to do. I meal plan for a year. I meal plan a year in advance. Have done for years now. Doesn't mean that we always eat what's on the meal plan as it's posted on the fridge. It means that I've got all the ingredients to make those, ingre the, those meals that are on the meal plan on the fridge. And that means that if I have to swap them around, it's easy enough to do. Okay, I am after tinfoil. To wrap up this uh, closer to tea time, this will go. Oh no, go like this. Here we go. Can you see? I can't. One time I saw it, right? All ready. Okay, so let's see. Has it been five minutes? I didn't set my timer, but they're all floating. So let's turn them both off. I'm going to quickly drain the um. Uh, drain the ravioli had a mental block then and I'll be right back okay take it off the stove Giving it a bit of a shake so that I get all the water out of it because we don't want to water down the sauce. There we go. That's nearly all of it. Right. Let's move up here so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll show you how I mix it in. It's really quick and easy. Here we go, dinner's almost done. Just going to gently fold it through the sauce. Can you see? Yes, let's move that out of the way. Oh, it smells really, really good. Okay, now it's not quite time to eat yet, so I will put this in the dish. in my lasagna dish that has been oiled. I oiled that ahead of time. Let me just pour this in. with the cheese top it with cheese the heat from it is going to start to melt the cheese and that's perfectly all right I do not mind that at all um, okay 
can get would be enough cheese to please my cheese cooking family. There you go. Giant bread and ravioli. I will pop that into the oven for hmm, 20 minutes or so. Garlic bread can go in at the same time on 180, just a moderate oven, closer to tea time, and dinner's done. How fast was that, guys? That was um, super fast, I'm thinking. Really quick, really easy. And it cost, let me see, uh, under $7 it would have cost to make. We will get um, two, four, eight, probably 10 serves out of that. Um, if we're just going to have it with as ravioli, as a ravioli bake like it is, maybe eight serves, which means two meals for us. So one lot can go in the freezer for another time. Okay, there you go. How easy was that? If you like this idea, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to know more about the Cheapskates Club, there's a link below me to our free weekly newsletter or even to join because we do have a members centre that is absolutely chock full of great ideas. And right now, because it's birthday month, new members or new memberships are on sale for $20. That's until 8pm, 31st of August, 2023. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you've got a question, leave it in the comments below. If you've got a comment, please leave it in the comments below. I read them all and I do my best to answer your questions if you have any. Okay. I'm about to make a cup of tea and then go sit down for a while. Why I'll be home from work soon. Have a great um, week, everyone, and happy cheapskating. I'll be back very soon with another Cheapskates Club video to save you money, time, and energy. Bye.